Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice quadratic equation x to the power 4 minus 3x cubed plus 3x squared minus 3x is equal to 2. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. First we write this equation in standard form. This will become x to the power 4 minus 3x cubed plus 3x squared minus 3 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now if we check uh, the factors of these two, factors of 2 are plus minus 1 and uh, plus minus 2. Plus minus 1 is not a solution and uh, plus minus 2 is not a solution. So to solve this equation we use another trick. We suppose that uh, this uh, quadratic equation is a product of two quadratic factors, let's say x squared plus uh, a times x plus uh, b times uh, x squared plus uh, c times x plus uh, d is equal to 0. If we expand this expression, this will become x to the power 4 plus uh, a plus uh, c times uh, x cubed plus uh, a times c plus uh, b plus d times x squared plus uh, a times d plus uh, b times c times x plus uh, b d is equal to 0. Now if we compare this expression with this expression we notice that a plus c is equal to negative 3 so from here we get an equation a plus c is equal to negative 3 and coefficient of x squared is ac plus b plus d is equal to positive 3. So we get another equation a times c plus b plus d is equal to 3 and we compare the coefficient of x ad plus bc will be equal to negative 3. We get another equation a times d plus d times c is equal to negative 3 and we compare this constant p times d with this constant negative 2 we get another equation b times d is equal to negative 2 now for this equation b times d b times d is equal to negative 2 for this we have two cases first case is b times d is equal to 1 times negative 2 in the second case b times d is equal to negative 1 times 2 this is case number 1 this is case number 2 For case 1 we have b is equal to 1 and d is equal to negative 2 and from this equation if we move this a to the right hand side then this implies that c is equal to negative 3 minus a. Now in this equation ad plus bc is equal to negative 3 a times d plus bc is equal to negative 3. Since d is negative 2, so this a times d will become negative 2a. b is 1, c is negative 3 minus a. So this bc will become negative 3 minus a is equal to negative 3 this negative 2a minus a will become negative 3 times a and if we add 3 to both sides this will become 0 from here we get a is equal to 0 and we can find c by using this equation c is equal to negative 3 minus a is 0 and c will be equal to negative 3 so from this case we get a is equal to 0 b is 1 and c is negative 3 and d negative 2. We check these values in this equation. Equation is a times c 
plus b plus d is equal to 3. In this equation, we check these values. a times c will become 0 times negative 3 plus b is 1 plus d is negative 2. Is this equal to 3? 0 times negative 3 will become 0 plus 1 and plus minus will become minus 2. Is this equal to 3? And 1 minus 2 is negative 1 that is not equal to 3. It means that uh, no solution can be found from this case. Now we check for the second case. From the second case uh, we get b is equal to negative 1 and uh, d is equal to 2. And we use uh, this equation to find the value of uh, a. Equation is uh, a times d plus uh, b times c is equal to negative 3. Since d is 2, so a times d will become 2 times a. The b is negative 1, so b times c will become negative 1 times c is negative 3 minus a. Negative 3 minus a is equal to negative 3. Next, 2 times a, negative 1 times negative 3 will become positive 3, and negative 1 times negative a will become positive a is equal to negative 3. Now, this is 2a plus a will become 3 times a. If we subtract 3 from both sides, this negative 3 will become negative 6, and from here we get the value of a negative 2. And to find the value of c, we use this equation, c is equal to negative 3 minus a. c is equal to negative 3 minus a is negative 2. And from here we get c is equal to negative 3, this will become plus 2, negative 3 plus 2, negative 1. So, from this case we get a is negative 2, b negative 1 and c negative 1 and d 2. Now, we check these values of a, b, c and d in this equation. This equation is already here a c plus b plus d is equal to 3. A is negative 2 and C is negative 1. So, this will become negative 2 times negative 1 plus this B is equal to negative 1. So, this will become negative 1 and D is 2 plus 2 is this equal to 3. Negative 2 times negative 1 will become positive 2. And plus minus 1 will become minus 1 plus 2 is this equal to 3 and 2 plus 2 4 4 minus 1 3 is equal to 3. So, this is true means uh, this case has solutions. So, we copy these values of A, B, C and D here. We have uh, A is equal to negative 2 and uh, B is equal to negative 1, C is equal to negative 1 and uh, D is equal to 2. And we recall that we have supposed, we have supposed that uh, this uh, quadratic equation is a product of uh, two quadratic factors. We have supposed that uh, this expression is a product of uh, two quadratic factors. So, by using these values of a, b, c and d, we can make uh, those two quadratic factors. 
the first uh, factor will become x squared since a is negative 2 so this ax will become negative 2x and b is negative 1 so here we write negative 1 times uh, the second factor will become x squared c is uh, negative 1 so this will become negative x and d is 2 so this will become plus 2 is equal to 0 and from here either this expression x squared minus 2 times x minus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared minus x plus 2 is equal to 0. From this uh, quadratic equation we have x is equal to negative times negative 2 plus minus the square root of b squared is a negative 2 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is negative 1 divided by 2 times a is 1. Next x is equal to this will become positive 2 plus minus the square root of negative 2 squared is 4 and a negative 4 times 1 times negative 1 plus 4 divided by 2 times 1 2 and this will become x is equal to 2 plus minus root 4 plus 4 8 divided by 2 and x will be equal to 2 plus minus root 8 will become root 4 times root 2 divided by 2 and this will become x is equal to 2 plus minus root 4 will become 2 times root 2 divided by 2 next x is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2 in back left 1 plus minus root 2 divided by 2 this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and from here we get a 2 values of x x1 is equal to 1 plus uh, root 2 and x2 is equal to 1 minus root 2. Now we solve the second case. From this quadratic equation we have uh, x is equal to negative times negative 1 plus minus uh, square root of b squared is uh, negative 1 squared minus uh, 4 times uh, a is 1 times uh, c is 2 divided by 2 times a is 1. Next x is equal to this will become positive 1 plus minus square root of this negative 1 squared is 1 and the negative 4 times 1 times 2 negative 8 divided by 2 times 1 2 and x is equal to 1 plus minus 1 minus 8 will become root negative 7 divided by 2 and x will be equal to 1 plus minus this will become root negative 1 times root 7 divided by 2. This will become x is equal to 1 plus minus root negative 1 will become i times root 7 divided by 2 from here we get other two solutions x3 is equal to 1 plus i times root 7 divided by 2 and x4 is equal to 1 minus i times root 7 divided by 2. So these are the four solutions of this equation.